Okay, you guys, this should be an interesting video for some. You're gonna watch me take this machine apart. <laughs> I have to figure out there's two screws in the back, two screws in the side and front, the whole lid comes up. They got a bunch of other lids underneath that you might want to get access to just to change the hinges on this stupid thing. Okay, we did all that, and then I still got an E3 cold. So I decided to bypass the lid switch. And people would say, Vic, that's dangerous. And I don't disagree with you. I know how to put a double gang box in the wall and put a switch on one side so I can turn the power on and off for the washing machine. If you don't do that, go get a switch protector that has a switch on You can turn it on and off when you want to run your machine. Or put an inline switch. Okay, they're readily available uh, to do that. Okay. I got one here on my light over here. It's a little inline switch. Probably cost me under 10 bucks. So I plug it in one area and then plug something else in and uh, things like that. And this way you don't have to be electrically savvy and go nuts okay they will all walk arounds on this okay you see me get the machine apart get all nervous get frustrated invent some new four letter words <laughs> either way this is a two-man job it's very tricky uh, I only figured out that you can hold the door up but it's kind of tricky with all the wiring everything inside I'm shocked I didn't break anything I pulled the holes out on what looks like a diaphragm with vacuum or pressure switch on there and figured out where the hose goes back. You see all this in the video. And I'll try to put timelines um, where to go if you what, what part you want to see. You don't have to look at the whole video. I'm trying to bore you guys stuff, okay? Unless you got a few beers in front of you, then you'd be all right. Uh, okay, did all that. And finally still got the E3 cold and slide the door over a little bit and we're good to go. This is an annoying machine. I hope your machine isn't as annoying as this. Now, I found a Samsung dryer outside, and the lint was never been cleaned. So the hot air never got into the dryer, so the person thought it didn't work. Okay. <laughs> I should have grabbed the washing machine, too, because it was a pair, and I didn't. Maybe because it was too big, and I didn't want to uh, run that machine in my kitchen, because we don't have a lot of space in the kitchen. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. That hinge is busted. That hinge there is not busted. I'm going to change both of them if I can. This machine is an RCA or Magic Chef 3.0. They're the same machine. If you look at the fronts, they look exactly the same. Probably made in the same factory. I did have a problem with the small media 1.6 cubic uh, whatever it was this is a 3.0 cubic and I with this 1.6 I had to clean the lint filter because it stopped draining this one I tried cleaning the lint filter it wind up being the pump so I'll put a link to those two videos below might be able to help some of you guys out okay the door shifts to one side just enough I think there's some kind of magnetic right here probably where it tells it if it's the doors lined up or not you'll get an error code and it'll shut itself down okay there's a lot more going on here that meets the eye that's my little ice maker we just got that thing here looks like there's a door here and the new ones look like they have a couple of screw holes and they probably come from the bottom up to hold these guys in place. So I might have to take this whole thing apart. I hope I get lucky on this one. <laughs> Let's unplug the machine first. Be smart about it. problems with this machine. Seems like my wife uses the crap out of it. Looks like there is a door that might come off there. Looking at that for a right machine. Looking at it. Looks like there's some kind of stopper there. 
have to fill in the machine too, so that's good. Kind of get an idea what they look like. Looks like there's another piece there. Pull this guy in place. I also want to come out. Awesome. Doesn't feel like it. Boy, I'm really dreading taking this whole machine apart. Okay, since I didn't press the record button, I just basically took the hoses off. There was a couple of washers here I took out, and the two screws, and she moves a little bit. But she does move a lot. So, we definitely got something going on here. Let's see if I can figure it out. Okay, there is a black, what looks like a cap here, and in here looks like there's something that's holding it in place, like a little lip. I don't know if you guys can see that lip right there. That's my light going out. I'm going to see if I can pop that out on both sides, see if I get lucky. My battery needs to be recharged on there. Okay, that worked. It looks like it's gonna come up now. It looks like she's moving out. Oh, she's moving out. There's the piece I was looking for. And let's get the other side out and see if we can get this door off. Do the same thing. Piece of metal there. Okay. So far we're getting kind of lucky here. Try to do the same thing. If I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Now we're trying to get the other side done. There it is. Yeah, I felt it go down. Okay, that's uh, the pit, what I thought might be pivot points. It was actually covers. It's the screw on each side. This whole thing might come right up. Got to be careful with the wiring, though. And first, the busted hinge. You guys can see that, right? I believe. And we're gonna go to the good hinge. We're gonna change both of them. If we get them out, we're able to clean up a lot better. See if we get lucky. Okay, let's keep going. Screws look exactly the same. Holy shit, came off. Uh, got a bunch of wiring on the inside. And we'll probably got some plumbing and stuff. We got some wiring, a little bit of plumbing, a door latch. And this is gonna come out to get to the hinge. If I can get this out of here real quick. Okay. Okay. Two there. I'm kinda worried about it a little bit. Just gonna have to be careful, that's all. Looks like if we take these screws off here, we'll get to the hinge and the wire. First, I want to make sure I'm not going to break anything. Okay, another five seconds. We're definitely halfway there. Okay, there was two screws in front here on the sides. 
two screws in the back and the whole thing lifted up. It looks like I got one screw in the bottom here and I gently lean it here. One screw here, uh, probably two more. On this side, this whole plate should come off and I should have access to the hinges. Let's see if that works out, okay? Nice and gently, of course. At this point, we're not trying to lose anything, so. All the screws look exactly the same so far. That's helpful. Nice to have a magnetic tip on here. Okay, all right. Yep, there's a screw all the way down there. And I gotta get to it. Right. Got that one out, but still in the case. Okay, that one, I probably lost that one. <laughs> so I have to find one. My bag of tricks. Hey. Take another screw or something else I'm missing. Find out in a second. To forward with this. Looks like something else. Swing clip. Okay, got that side out, and we have it's making that noise. A bunch of wiring here we want to play with. And there's the two screws for the hinges on this side. I can see that already. Let's put that out of the way. Change this side real quick, and then we go to the other side. Not an easy deal, I can tell you that right now. Why'd they have to make it so difficult? <laughs> I'm gonna work on HVAC systems, HVAC systems and Goodman pretty much buries everything. It's very difficult to reach anything over there. We got one hinge out. All right, let's see if it says anything on there. Might be helpful. It does not. So I have to go thinking that this is, this goes like this. Should be left side. Let's go get the left side. And that one there says left. That looks like that's the right one. And we got the right side also. No, no reason to change just one. Best thing to do is change them both. Okay. We got it in place already. Put the two screws back in. Gently, of course. Order. I'm going to put the camera and everything around so I have better access on the other side. So give me a second, please. Boy, is this thing messy inside? What you guys, what you guys miss is I actually got the cover out. So that's going to give me much better access. Hopefully, I can see two screws. Look like we're gonna make it on this one. Alright, All right, so let's be careful over here. Bunch of wires here, we don't want to mess up. One more screw, and then we go in reverse.
screws came right out. Let's see if we can get the screw out of there real quick. Just have to bend the door over, drop the screw on the floor. I don't want to drop it in the machine. Don't look like I want it to come out. Is it still in there? It is. Right about now because we're doing okay. Now we're on the right side. I was surprised how easy it was to get the door off. Just about surprised how easy it was to get the cover off. <laughs> Found out where the hose goes to. This, there it is, right there. Hopefully, you guys can see that. This gets clipped in there, so I'm gonna reattach the hose. Could be vacuum, some kind of vacuum sensor or something like that. Switch, uh, pressure switch or something like that, like we use on the HVAC. That's what it looks like. If I don't put this hose back, this machine might not work. So we kind of figured out. My wife helped me by holding up the door. I pop this out. It's two clips here, right here. Hold this thing in. So now I'm going to put everything back together and see if we get lucky. Okay, we got to get this piece back on here. Okay. This piece goes in there. It's a lot more difficult than it looks, boy. Wow. I'm not fancy this thing. Doing this again. the bit at. Boy, I'm not happy doing this. Definitely a lot harder than one looks like. One more screw over there. And then one more over here and that's gonna be it. Okay, can you hold it like that? Yep, not good. Okay. Okay, now, you got a little thing here you gotta be careful with. That's gonna go in, yep, yep, like that. That's it, okay. Let it go. Okay, we got the cover almost back in place. One second. Yep, got the cover back in place. Let me put our guys back. There it is. I believe it was standing up. Oh, we did this because it goes in a certain way. Yep. That is the right side. I don't know if that's the wrong side. Okay, this is the right side. I believe. I tried not to separate them. So hopefully we can get that. And it should be able to just push it in and pop in place if I'm doing it right, of course. Yep, that one went right in. Yep, that one is in. One more to go. Then we're going to test the machine after we finish to make sure we got it right. Got it. Okay. We got two covers we gotta put here. And two hoses. Then we can test the machine. Okay. So my two covers right there. Okay. This one goes in there like that. 
up this one on this side. Doesn't want to pop up by itself. Okay. Okay, good. Alright, the door's back in place. Okay, you guys, I looked at it for a diagram, couldn't find it, or at least the right one. I have an idea I could bypass it here on the board, but if this is the actual lid switch, there's a spring that holds this with tension, and it popped out when I was taking the unit apart. So I'm going to try to bypass this switch and go for it. Continuity test. See if that's all it is is a switch. If I can, I guess the main reason I'm not worried about bypasses is just me and my wife. There's no children. If I had to, I'd put a switch where the plug is at, and that would be an easy remedy. So the, the washer plug would be on a switch, just like I did my refrigerator when I had to put a fan in the window. So you don't have to really be concerned about this too much, I don't think. Okay. Okay, that went in pretty good. Now we gotta push the other side on. And this should be bypassed. I should be putting a little tape on here. Just for argument's sake. Okay. Okay, that's in right now. We're gonna tape that up. Pause the video while I tape it up, start putting everything back together again. Okay, I bypassed the unit already. I said I was going to put a little tape there, it's not a bad idea. Help keep things together so they don't come apart. I shouldn't need much more than that. I guess my only other concern is making sure the wires don't go anywhere. So, something like that should be helpful. What I thought. Okay. It'll be worth it today if I can get this videos up for you guys and I can get this machine working. If you don't have the skill to put a switch in where the plug is at or put a larger junction box, you can use a surge protector that has a switch on it and you can turn the unit on and off with that. If you're concerned about that with your children, their pets, uh, whether they be birds or something else. Okay. This one here is giving me a little fight again. Okay, we got it now. So don't forget, you can use the soil protector. You don't have to go all fancy, be electrician or, or weekend warrior electrician. Not necessary, okay? Just use the search protector, adequate one, and you should be able to actually do just fine. Hopefully. Okay, there it is. Okay, we got that. Right, yeah, okay. Hey, we got the machine going. <laughs> After we bypass the lid switch, I think there's a second switch here, and I think it's right here. I don't know if that shows up in the image. There's like a rectangle right here. I think that's a magnetic switch. And I think there's a piece of magnet in here. And we had the lid on, but we didn't have to screw down this side. We screwed it down, everything seemed to line up. Previous video, I had to actually shift the door over a little bit for it to start. But if everything is lined up properly, this machine is very annoying. It should start, I should get no more E3 code. I got an E3 code, okay. Turn it off. Push the door ever so slightly. Tell me this is not annoying. Almost forgot. There's the lift switch out of the unit. And you guys just see me bypass it and it's running. But this door is way too finicky. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm pretty sure that's a factory defect. I'm hoping you guys don't have the same problem. But if you do, you know how to figure it out. Bye.